Hey guys, welcome back to a new video. Um, it is I, Happy Cannon. You just call me Happy. But, uh, yeah. So about, like, maybe six months ago? I No, maybe like a year ago, to be honest. But, um, I put out a video saying at 50 subscribers, which is crazy to get 50 subs from here to there in a year. But, um, people move slower than some others, so... <laughs> Um, yeah, so I said that you'd be using my mic. I've had the same mic for maybe, um, like, before that, so like a year and a half now, and I've just been putting it off. Huh. Okay, so, yeah, I'm using my mic now. Get wrecked. Um, I won't be using this all the time, because sometimes I'm not in the right environment to be using it. But, uh, yeah. So sorry, you can also hear my keyboard. It's very clickety clackety. Doesn't have dock, as some would say. But uh, yeah, into the video. Um, so we'll be checking out the snap traps. Um, I've heard some of you guys have been confused on how to obtain them and how to use them. So um, I guess we can go in game mode S. But so here they are. So here's the main snap trap. It does uh, 10 damage. If you step on it, and you have to reset it every single time. Same with the other ones, but this one, uh, I'm just gonna ignore the barrier blocks are there. But, um, so the poison snap trap does 8 damage, also poison damage, hence the name, the little green speckles on it. And then we also have the snap trap version, but with the clock on it, so it can actually reset itself. Uh, it's better for, like, farms and traps, you don't want to keep resetting. This one does 8 damage, and it auto-fixes itself. And then here we have the recipes going on. Right here, it takes 3 iron bars and 3 iron nuggets, and you get yourself a snap trap. Now as you can see, it's not set up, but we'll be showing you how to do that later in the video. And then here's the poisonous snap trap. It takes 1 snap trap in the middle, and then 8 poisonous potatoes around the side, and that will craft you the poisonous snap trap. Next here, we have the time snap trap. It just takes one snap trap and a clock using the level one workbench. Uh, if you guys don't know how to make this, that sucks for you, and I guess you can learn later. But uh, here's that. Also, sorry if I'm going a bit fast. Uh, I don't care for view time, because I'm just such a chad. But uh, basically, we're gonna move on to the next thing. And here's the how they work. So right here we have the normal snap trap, the poison snap trap, the clock. Um, the way you reset the snap traps is with chains for the normal one, and then poisonous potatoes for uh, the poison ones, which is probably the most efficient one. So if you prefer, you should probably use these. They'll do a lot more damage. And then here's how they work. So. When the mob lands on it, it takes the damage over there. And then also gives them slowness for like 20 seconds, I believe. So you can just keep them. And as you can see, the clock snap trap has reset itself. <coughs> takes a lot of damage out of them. Then here's the poisonous snap trap. <coughs> Insta killed. And then. Oh, yeah, there you go. So um, that's the snap traps. If you have any questions and or uh, suggestions for the next video because be, I'll be this is it this is a <laughs> this is a mini series now um, if you'd like if you're just confused about certain aspects of missiles because I know I I like to make it confusing sometimes but for the younger viewers who don't care to spend hours of their day asking me questions and just want the facts uh, you can just watch these videos and I'll be able to show you how to do it so uh, I guess thank you for watching um, this is but, uh, <laughs> yeah, thank you so much for watching, and you guys have a good rest of your night, or day, or whatever. Drink off. Goodbye.